Hello, my people. I am very happy to be here with you today. I welcome all our subscribers to today's training and also welcome those who are watching me for the first time. Okay, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and also the notification button so that you get to know anytime we release video. Okay, on this channel, we will be talking about everything that has to do with media, web development, talking about uh, video editing, okay, talking about film production and many other things. Just of recent, I was editing a video and uh, I got to a point that I needed to uh, use the uh, the location icon okay the location icon let me show you what a location icon is so this is how location icon looks like okay that's what you can see on my screen how the location icon looks like so I was working on this particular uh, video editing project and I needed to use a location icon okay so I of course what the first thing that came to mind is to quickly go online and get it downloaded but uh, on the second thought I felt okay instead of me to go ahead and get this downloaded why don't I just make it myself okay so how will I make it of course I have the option of using the Photoshop to do it but why should I use Photoshop when I'm working on Premiere Pro and I just want to feel that Premiere Pro should be able to do this thing okay so I did it I figured it out on that project I was able to do it perfectly okay so I am going to show you how exactly I got it so this is just a tip on how I uh, successfully created a location icon using Premiere Pro. Of course, it could be done easily on Photoshop, but most of us may not know that we can do it on and we can do it using Premiere Pro because we are of this opinion of this belief that Premiere Pro is basically for video editing. But I want to convince you that Premiere Pro is as good as um, most of these uh, motion graphics uh, software that we have out there. So let's go to Premiere Pro. Uh, for newcomers or those who are uh, get it to know about Premiere Pro for the first time. Okay, let me just quickly tell you how how you find your way around Premiere Pro. Okay, the first thing to do after you have launched your Premiere Pro, you have created your project. Okay, and you have given your project uh, a, a name. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is come to file. From new, you go straight to legacy title. Okay, because that's what I will be using legacy title. So I've created a legacy title. All right. So next thing we are going to do is go for Act Two. From my Act Two, what I just do is just pick the Act Two press or shift down okay have a draw okay it's a perfect draw of up to okay then get it rotated to 45 degree uh, 45 degrees okay that does it shift down your control button down to have it properly scaled okay so having done that the next thing you want to do is to trace out how do i trace it out just go for pen to okay pen to everybody so from pen to you just pick the edges okay okay the second edge the, th the third edge then close it up Okay, so I just I just um, trace it out the way I wanted. So I want to delete my act two. Okay, so you can see I have uh, the traced out uh, shape left after I've deleted the the the, the act two. So the next thing I want to do is to go for convert upper point two. So just click on it. Okay, select it. Yes, very lovely. Okay, for my people, that's it. Now, I, I just want to tell you that there is possibility in uh, Premiere Pro, there is possibility in uh, being able to achieve some of these things uh, with using Premiere Pro. Okay, that is just the purpose of this uh, of this of this uh, of this video. So I so much believe that you have learned one or two things. Of course, of course, we already know now that you can achieve. Uh, you can create something like this using your Premiere Pro. If you are watching this video for the first time and you like what you have seen, you've learned one or two things, please give us a thumb up. If you have a better idea on how to get it done, of course, uh, you can comment below. Please kindly click on subscribe button. That will go a long way to encourage us. Really appreciate uh, your time. Thank you very much for staying too. God bless you. Bye bye.